Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Diverse Comics and Pop! And I'm your host, Remy Leonard. And before we get into today's episode, which is a great one, I will need you to press that like button. Click on that subscribe. Click on that little bell on the corner there so you get notifications every time I post a new video. Also, that like button means so much to me. It helps everyone. I'm talking to everyone to see this video. Also, subscribe and welcome you guys to being part of the diverse family and pop. So let's make that happen, people. We are almost close to 1,000 subscribers. We're marching there. We're almost at 600, so yes, I love that too. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we have a special, when I say a special, today's throwback. I'm taking it to the extreme. Yes, I'm taking it to the extreme of Rob Liefeld's Young Blood. This book was everything that you wanted out of a Young Blood comic. It also introduced like the more characteristics of Young Blood. Um, they life it's almost like um, you was getting to know of, of of the team when they was like um, off break and they weren't doing superhero stuff. Um, it also had a little comedy in here because you know they was like a celebrity government team. It was always under the microscope, always in the camera. You know, you're celebrity. Guess what? That's what come with the fame. You're gonna be always on that camera man you don't know who watching you you just don't know you know it just it is what it is that's what comes with fame and it's like you're gonna be always under that camera without you even knowing it you know what I'm saying but Bear Rock here he enjoys it and this cover right here man is just smashing bro like this cover you I mean look at this cover man and uh like I said Rob always delivered those high impact covers and it just draws you in the the the, the whole uh, electrifying energy just coming off of this cover man look at that I mean it just looks so damn badass man look at the colors the cross hatching the mouth of bear rock and and, and, and shining off his uh, shoulder plaid right there and how, how the fist is going backward. I mean, man, it's just everything that makes you want to grab this cover. That's why I brought this book. I mean, like every book Rob did, a Young Blood, the covers, man, it just drew you in. It drew you in. There's nothing you can do about it. It hypnotized you. You had to buy it. And of course, look at this. It's here on my desk, right? I mean, I have it. <laughs> so let's crack this bad boy open. But damn, look at that cover. Woo! Okay, we're gonna look at the introductions here. The introduction, move some of my stuff up because you know this is my drawing area. But hey, I love reading my comic books on my desk sometimes. Okay, this is the creative team. Look at the outline of. I like how Rob always had like uh, he does the design outlines of his inside covers. They just always pop in. They like they pop just like how the outside of the cover is. The inside was always interesting. And of course, you see the creative team. We got Rob Lightfield, creative pencils and story. We got Eric Stephenson, script and editor. This is when Eric Stephenson, Stevenson, was uh, you know, he was under the, the extreme umbrella, and he was doing that uh, all the uh, you know, all the Rob Lightfield books and stuff uh, before he became president of uh, Image Comics. You know, um, his Danny Mickey and Jonathan Seaball. They was more like to me. These guys were like the MVP, man. Like they, their inks was just phenomenal, man. Danny Mickey and John Seaball. I mean, like just phenomenal. Then you know Rob Rung and Kiko Tashi not Ta, Ta Ganashi. It just took his. It just took the whole extreme experience with those colors to a whole nother level, man. I'm talking Kiko. Did his damn did the damn thing, bro? Like no, 
hands down. Then of course, the the, the hey, I called Kurt Hathaway for MVP a lettering. Kurt Hathaway also lettered my Age of Solo books, and um, he's just a master of what he does, man. I mean, he he's the straight lettering commando. And talking with Kurt a lot, he gave me a lot of fascinating in, in, um, in string studio stories. Um, like he he wrote some stories. He did a lot of editing himself. I mean, the guy was just. I mean, the stories Kurt was telling me, man, was just mind blowing. Like, wow, you know. And um, you know, it just it's great having him aboard doing the Agent Soto letter. And he also did the letter for Violent Bird also. Then in here's Extreme. You got Sherry Lightfield, which I think that's, that's Rob's sister. She was directing licensing. Then we had Matt Hawkins at the time. He's promotion and marketing. But Matt now is with Top Cow, if you don't know. He's with Top Cow now. And uh, Rob gave Matt his first break and um, asked the promotion and marketing. And, Ma and Matt would just, he wasn't even into comics. You know, that's just crazy how he jumped into comics. And um, then, of course, we have Larry Murder, Larry Murder, executive director. Then we have publisher Tony Labito. This is Image Man. This is like that 94 Image Image Man. Man, you know, this is what Image was, man. I mean, the team was just phenomenal how they put together books and of course we see the first scene the scene it was like a bird's eye shot overview and man let me tell you something rob always made some interesting scenes man he always made some interesting scenes like we got you know we see that like, what's going on here the shot is having a nightmare and um he's worried about eating a lot of food he's getting fat you know this is this this is this is what i said in this issue, we're seeing the you know the celebrity side of uh, of, of young blood. We're seeing like their off day, like an off day of them not being heroes that much. You, you know, this is why I liked about how Rod was really giving you that. Now he's giving you the celebrity young blood. He was giving you those uh, uh, behind the scenes of what these superheroes are doing, where they're not really fighting you know the bad guys and stuff. As you can see, he got like the sub refrigerator in there. I mean, this real good detail that you know what's going on in this panel, this one panel, which is phenomenal panel, a real good phenomenal panel with the shadow. I mean, it just it's a lot going on. It's this is a lot that's making this work. And Rob delivered just with this one panel alone. Like wow, you know, it's a huge ass refrigerator man with a lot of food in there. You got shaft in the middle. <laughs> You know, it's just some good shit, man. So let's go on. Like I said, he's having a nightmare. You know what I'm saying? That he's eating all his food. He's getting fat. He got sub sandwiches. He got all that good food that Rob be talking about in Rob Reservations. <laughs> Look, he just he just living it up, man. And he, he got fat. You know. And this is what makes this book so hilarious. And also, this was in, did a lot of comics back then. Um, you know, you had your fun moments and this was all about having fun having fun making comics fun and as you can see Rob had a lot of fun and then you got Fat Shaft we got the Fat Shaft Rob was the first to do it you know what I'm saying he he he, he brought comedy to this book and and, and and it worked and it worked and um you know Shaft you know people laughing at him because he's getting fat he's Fat Shaft now as he as he, he's saying everybody's laughing at me you know i'm i'm a joke <laughs> it's like nothing but a big fat joke and, you know he's fat and look at the look at the detail all the detail and fat shaft you know rob did some great detail work and this is why i study him a lot um and i try to put that as much in my in my in my work um the details and as you can see the cross hatching you know, I study a lot what Raha Rob does and stuff, and it's just phenomenal. His work is just, it's on his own, man. It's always, it was always fresh, always. He always brought it. In this issue, he brought it, you know. And as you see, he's waking up, it was a dream. And that's Shelly, his girlfriend that we've seen in, you know, Young Blood, the first issue. And he's dreaming like, no, he wake up, she, Jeff, what's going on? I dream I was fat. <laughs> He's like, uh, you know, we were screaming like crazy person. You were screaming like a crazy person, Jeff. 
You sure everything's all right? Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> I dreamed that it must have been a, cr- a dozy Jeff, you know. You know, and it, you know. This I say, we're seeing the off. We're seeing young blood on break. This issue. I mean, how Rob hit, did this whole sit. You, you can just get breed it without the words and know what's going on. And he's like, you know, these here they are, they're on like a they were like on a little vacation. I hear. We see skin. We see like you know they so they in the mountains. They in uh the Rocky Mountains in Colorado. You know, Park Range Resort Town of Vail is considered as many one of the most beautiful places on earth. You know, so this is like a getaway. You know, and everybody having fun skiing and um uh, this this like simple stuff like this. It's like when you make a comic books, you wanna want we wanna make. Each page, even though this is not, oh man, this is a man, you know, even the boring stuff, you make it exciting as hell. And that's what Rob did. He he took this and made it just exciting. This this mountain scene this is, it excites me. P- looking at people skiing above, he gave you a above shot. Of people skiing, the snow tracks, people on, on the electric on the on the electric uh, uh, belt, you know, when you're skiing and shit, you know. Interesting. Just interesting. Simple things. The background with the uh, clouds, and he then he got the mountains. You can tell snowy mountain with the trees with you know with snowflakes. And I think Kinko he delivered on that. He seen what Rob you know all the things Rob was drawing. He capitalized on that and just popped it out. Man, it's interesting. This and I like how he did the, like the designs on those. Right here, the little design work scene. And right here, just people sitting down having a good time. I'm, I, I just love simple things like that. <clears throat> Let's keep it moving here. And we see a double page splash of the big man himself, Bear Rock. And he's having a damn good ass time. Look at that. Look at that splash page here, everyone. I'm just kind of raise it up. I'm going to do it like this. It's, it's a splash page. Can you guys see that? I mean, look at that. Look at that, man. Look at the snow coming off the ground as Bear Rock skiing through. Woohoo! You know what I'm saying? He's having a damn good time. Look at that. And look how Rob just did the, the whole design work on that. The, the, the detail on his uh, ski suit. I just fucking love this stuff, man. I love it. I, I love every bit of it, man. I, I mean, this is the stuff I... I always loved about when I get in the Rod Life Field book because Rod will always deliver. He will always give you the goods. He will give you your money's worth. And you can see the excitement energy on this, man. It's a devil page spread. Holy cow. Holy cow. I, I mean, it can't go deliver. He delivered once again. Look at that color work. Phenomenal. As you can see, we see, you know, Bear Rock is, he, he enjoying his life, man. Look at him. He's enjoying his life. He's skiing. Enjoying the scenery, living living the life of a kid, you know what I'm saying? But in a in a in a in a in a big body rock human uh, body, and you can see Bear Rock more he cruising, talking to the people. They loving him, asking for autographs. Great to see him, you know. He's the man, man. He's the man. Bear Rock was that dude, bro. He was that dude. You feel me? He was that dude. And once again, Rob just. Slow scenes, but exciting scenes. I repeat that again. Slow scenes, but very exciting scenes. This is what makes a comic book so fun. Not only is the action and all that, but you enjoy you. You're giving the readers more excitement, even with the slow scenes. And that's what Rob, once again, delivered on. He's delivering on the on the slow scenes here. I, I'm loving it. I love this. Look at that. I love stuff like that. Of course, like I said, he's signing uh, Bear Rock right here, signing fans, autographs, and stuff. Now, as we, I like how he we uh, continue with this on with the conversation at him giving them the the autographs they asked for. As we cut into the next scene, because these two panels is still flowing with this. Then after that. It drifts into another different panel scene, which is uh, 
the Young Blood headquarters in Washington D.C. We see some singing going on within the the building right here, and then guess who it is? Troll, half butt naked with some soap on, and loving it and, and singing it up. Stormy weather, singing the song Stormy Weather, and man, when I seen this, when I seen this one right here, I was like, oh my god, man, Rob was just. He was just cutting up, man. Like, he was all out just giving us uh, that celebrity feel for these characters and making you know these characters more. It's letting you get to know these characters in a different type of way. Like, you never seen them before. We always seen them in action and all that. But in this particular issue, we seen celebrity young blood. We seen them doing different things in this book as, you know, Things that us as we do as regular human beings, you know, but he made it so interesting for you to really get to know these characters. And looking at this troll here, washing up in the bath, dude, this is next level. Uh, I really enjoyed this one so much right here. I mean, it gets no better than that, man. It gets no better than that. I wonder if he still had his original page for this one. Or do anyone else have it? That's interesting to know. Oh man, I love that. Soap bubbles and stuff. Okay, then we see Troll coming out. Uh, he's coming out the shower, man. You know what I'm saying? He got his robe on. Then he runs to Graves. We all know who Graves is, man. He's the CEO of uh, Young Blood. But you know, he's you know, he has other evil intentions and agenda. You know, and like I said, Rob. I like how he brings these characters into forms like us knowing who these characters are. He brings a personality to each one of these characters um, that you sh you'll know off, off back what they're about. When you see this guy, you better run because Graves is the devil. All right? Dude, dude is evil as hell. And it, it, but I like the plot how Rob set him up to what he really was. Especially with Troll. Okay, then we um, are in the... Uh, then we run over into the uh, Young Blood Danger Room, and this is uh, Night Sabri. And man, he's a uh, one of those characters from uh, England, and he has a, a staff, and he's just badass. And uh, you know, I love how Rob just really executed this panel right here. We're seeing him get his workout on. As you can see the robots are surrounding him. He's doing all his flips with his staff, blasting them away. Boom, 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 boom. You know, showing out, showing out. And uh, once again, he introduced you to new characters because he was a new character. Uh, I, I, the other book, oh, I forgot what issue that was. He was like, his, it was his first appearance scene. I can't think of it right now, but I got that book somewhere around in my stash. But. That it was the first appearance of him. And once again, Rob introduced us to new characters like him and Troll, but Night Sabri was the newest character that was introduced. And as you can see, he's doing more work in that in a young blood danger room here. And dude, when I say Rod Lightfield gave us a great introduction of this character right here, showing what he what he's capable of. Above. That just show right here, he was a bad man. He was a bad man. Whoa, he was a bad man. Look at that. Look at that. Look how he slung that robot with the with the uh, energy cord from his staff. I mean, Rob pulled up. Rob did a lot of action scenes, and his action scenes was always just top of the line, man. And um, if you see my work, I bring I, I like to bring that same type of style when he does when when, when it comes to fighting and stuff because it was just so interesting to me. Look at the background with the shadow and the background. I mean, so like that, the little things like that just bring, just make that one panel right there interesting. And, and, and it's like a Z. You can easily read this. Yeah, as we see Shaft, he's checking on like, yeah, this man, is, this dude, who is this guy? This guy, this guy, something else, you know. Yeah, it was a team, yeah, team, young blood, 10. That's what that was. Team, young blood, issue 10. I had that one. I had that book. 
And then we see Shaz, he got the detail. Look at that detail in Shaz's face right there. And of course, uh, you're like, hey Shaf, I didn't know I had a bleeding audience. I don't have time to exchange pleasure. Pleasure, um, is nice to breed. Die Hard's team is down in Nevada, and the party's responsibility is still at large. It's up to us to bring those bastards in. <laughs> oh man, Shaf always, he was always about business though, man. He was, he was always, he was always about that business, man. He, he was about his job. If you read all those John Blood books, Shaft was that dude. You know what I'm saying? He was about his business. He 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 always came through. As we see, we see more Bear Rock. He just he back there just enjoying the the, the whole skin and enjoying life. Then suddenly, boom! Something hit him. He flies. He flies into like uh, the snow, and he's like there, like just splat out in the snow. But he sees something. You. What, what is what, what is it? Look, but look at this though, man. Look how Rob did that. Now I know when I'm, I when, um, as a comic book artist myself, I find out how they did this. Maybe they don't, but I always used to when I'm doing something like the upsound shot, uh, upsound shot scene, I would draw, I would draw first like this, you know, so it, so it could be right. Then I, you know, make sure then I flip it back around like that. <laughs> that's how I do mine, you know. But man, I just love how he did that. That was just that's 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 crucial, man. I like that. But we'll see where Bad Rock scene here. And it's oh, it's overkill. Oh man, but he likes something wrong with him because he's gonna ch -ch 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 kill Bad Rock. Kick Bad Rock. Oh jeez. Overkill, not now. And they tell you right here for the full story of Overkill's appearance, check out Spawn 23 on sale now. I remember though, I got that book too. It, image was just doing the damn thing, all right. But yeah, something yeah, his his um Overkill is all messed up, but he knows that he's programmed to kill Bad Rock. And you know, I all look and see what's going on. Oh my God! That's Bear Rock down there. He's in trouble. And let's keep on going with the action. Look at that shit. <laughs> Look at that, man. Rob delivered that shit. Look at that. Bam, man. Swap. Look at that. It's on now, man. He going in on him now. Look at this, though, man. This, you know what? I want to do it. I want. I want to do an Agent Solo one like this and. Contribute to Rob. I think he'll like it. Put it in my next Age of Solo issue. My Age of Solo doing this and do a homage contribute to Rob. Look at that. <sighs> Look at the detail. Look Overkill's face. Lord mercy. <laughs> Guys, this is top notch quality. Look at that. Shiny armor. <sighs> That. You can feel that shit. You can feel that. You can't tell me you can't, man. That is so dope. Man, that is a straight poster. Only way I could do something like that. And the action continues. They're going head on. Look at that. They're going head on. Bear Rock is giving it to him. Bam! Scrap! Pow! Rob really just. He just he laid it all out right here. He snapped. He just went in. He went into a whole different. He just he, he a whole different feel. This is a straight up movie, man. Look at that. That's just action, man. In your face, in your face, bro. Love it all, man. Keep moving on, man. Look at that. Bear Rock sends his ass flying through the tree branch, breaking the tree branches out. Crack, 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 crack. Look at that. Bear, look, Bear Rock standing out gangster. You ready for it? Like, come on, bring it now, boy. I'm ready for your ass. Look at that. Overkill getting back up. Kill Bear Rock. K -k Kill Bear Rock. K -k -k Kill. Kill. Shred. Bear Rock. Yo! <laughs> He like blast to a tense. He like, 
Don't know how much I can I can take from that. <laughs> well, he's standing his ground, though, boy. Overkill, boy. He was something else, but you could tell something wrong with him. He kind of all fucked up and stuff. You know? This I remember this. This was a t-shirt. Who remember this? This was a t-shirt. Look at that smoke coming off of Bedrock Skull. Look at that, man. That's... Man. Bedrock ready now, boy. I pissed him off. He like, okay, buddy. Now you had made me mad. Oh man, he ready. We went to this. This was the first ever Texas appearance of Rod Life and Dan Frager at the Dallas Fantasy Fair, July 30th. Wow. I love to hear who I went to this. If you went to this, I would love to hear your story of that. Interesting. Man, look at that, man. That is so dope, man. Woo! Look at that. Look at his eyes. Look at the teeth and Detailed his eyes. <laughs> Rob just, oh, this is just, this is just too much, y'all. Loving it. Then we get another impact their pay, uh, their pay spread. Let's rock dirt bag. Look how rip bedrock all the veins and the detail. Oh, I love it. The muscles. <laughs> and look at look at how vicious overkill's looking like. You know, he ready. You know, he all messed up. But, man, look at that. That was pay spread, man. Gotta love it, man. Look at that. Oh, man, that's just too much. I love it all. See. What we got here? Wow, yeah, man. I remember this right here. This was when they did the uh, spawn, whole spawn thing with a uh, chapel killed himself. Oh man, look at that devil up page spread, a chapel, all those damn guns in the back, and the guns, the guns, like they could blow you away one, just one bullet, the pouches, the biceps, the muscles, I love it all, look, oh, look at that, man, oh man, look at the belly of how he got the back scenery, you can tell where he's at, he got those guns, clack, 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 ready, you ready to get down, man, you know what I'm saying? He got them, he got them bangers on him. Look at the background. Look at that back shot of Chapel. Next issue, Spawn. Enough said. That's all you need to know. I got the issue too. I got all these issues. And what's so it just just read just going through this book again. Brings back so much memories. And hope it's bring you back memories looking at this, cause. I'm having a hell of a time showing you guys this. I'm just so excited. I get excited a lot. I've been like this since a kid. I'm always oversighted uh, when I'm reading comic books, especially when it's like great comic books like Ra Ra Life was producing. And he still is producing some badass, kick ass comic books. But yeah, I get excited, y'all. So don't mind me. <laughs> I'm just an excited person, man. Uh, this stuff is just. Bringing me back to all those great days when I used to go to the comic shop and buy these screen books. Uh, what we got here? We got we got look, we got the San Diego con and Rob run the whole entire crew. Look at the battle, the the the, the, the young blood battle cruiser right there, and there's the whole crew that went to San Diego. Man, I wish I was a part of that. Look, it's Rob Life for Eric um, Stephenson, Stevenson, Dan Panosian, Dan Frager. Mark Mitchells, <clears throat> Marriott. Okay, I look. I gotta stop butchering people's names. Marriott Michaels, Danny Mickey, Chap Yate, Jeff Masuda, Kurt Hathaway, uh, Gig Screenwick, Set, um, Cedric Newcomb, Anthony Wynn, Jonathan Seaball, Richard Hurry, Ty Newitt, Norm Ratman, Chuck Jones. Mario Aquiza, Aquiza, saying that name right? Larry Strucker, Christian Litcher, Baron Tillman, Carl Ostarter, Robert Nepton, Pity, and the whole Extreme Crew. Man, that man, that must have been a hell of a blast. Man, I would love to hear the video. Look up to Bear Rock. That was like that real Bear Rock that Rob had. Then you had that um, that real Chapel. Go face to face with Chapel. Witness the first appearance of Kodak. I remember that Kodak. It was like a, a life-size Kodak, like how Bedrock was. Free the first 4,000. Free? Free. The first 5,000 people to... to uh, the 
first the first five thousand people to come by the extreme booth will receive a limited San Diego Comic Con edition of Bear Rock and Company issue one. Oh man, whoever I got Bear Rock issue issue one, but not the limited one. Whoever got that man, I would love to see that. Wow, wow, man, this is something else. Man, the tour of the Young Blood Battle Cruiser. Rob said he, you know, he's doing that to a theme, a theme park. He couldn't, you know, he'll just take it to a space. But wow, what a moment, man! What a, what a time! And I'm so fortunate, you know, fortunate that the the, the experience this explosion of uh, extreme studios and image comics. And like I said, Rob was the first comic. Young Blood to come out the uh, gate of X X Image Comics, and it was just a fun moment, man. I never forget those moments. I got a lot of other books, man. I'm gonna be doing a lot of these. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in to Diverse Comics and Pop. Thank you. Thank you if you already subscribed. Um, we're building this. We're, we're building this channel, um, and. Um, Till we get to a thousand subscribers and beyond. Right now we're we're we're, we're on a hut to six hundred subscribers, and um, woo, what a thrill, y'all! I'm having so much fun uh, with this channel. Um, just bring you guys the great stuff that I love growing up as a kid. Also, uh, you know, giving you a behind the scenes look when I'm drawing my H Solo stuff, um, along with other stuff like my toys. I love to collect and. Going shopping to Walmart and all that good stuff. Just giving you a behind the, the life of a comic book artist and the things that I do and my uh, and all my life or uh, the the life I live as a comic book artist. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. Brandon, I'm out. Thank you so much. Hope you're subscribing and share the channel. And I am out of here. Take care.